Okay, so the reason these 2D lists are so useful is that all our data is set up in this little grid here, and we can actually use, uh, we can loop through using another nested for loop and take out some of these individual values and perform functions with them and use the data for something. So they're very, the, the index that exists uh, for these 2D lists uh, makes it really easy to access the data. And we're going to learn a little bit how to do that. What I, let's, uh, as an example, let's say I wanted to find all the numbers in my 2D list that are divisible by five. Well, let's go ahead and label our work really quick. So I will do this and I will say, uh, merge the list. And so what I'm going to do is I want to count the number of uh, multiples of five that are in my list. So the way I do that is um, I set up a variable called count and I start that off by setting it equal to zero. Then I uh, want to set up a nested for loop. So I'll just say for value in values. So I'm looking through the values array for each individual value, which is going to be a list. And I'm going to set up a nested loop here and I'm going to just say for number in value. So for the value that makes up the list of values, I'm going to check each individual number in that value, which is a list. So in there, I'm going to check each individual value and if number, so each, if each individual number is divisible by five, or in other words, if the number modulus five returns a remainder of zero, then I'm going to add one to the count. Otherwise I'm going to do nothing. And then I'm going to wait for this entire loop to exit. And once that loop exits, I'm going to print there are count multiples of five in the array or in the list, sorry. And so we can try that. And you can see there's my search the list label. And you can see that right there. And it clearly states there are three multiples of five in the list. And if we look at the list, uh, I got five, 10, and 15 in the list. And those are my three. But if I wanted to be fancy about this, I could probably set uh, count equal to a string. And I could say count plus equals, and I could cast number into a string and add it to count. And then I could add a comma and space. And then, uh, I could say, uh, let's see, the numbers and then I could add count. Let's say the numbers those in the list are multiples of five. And if I run that, we'll say the numbers five, 10 and 15. And the list are multiples of five. And so that's another cool way to use that data. I could also start count at zero and I could say like maybe I could just add all the values together 
So I could say plus equals number. I could say the sum of the values in the list uh, is equal to, and then I could add counts there. And whoopsie, I got to put a comma there. So let's try that again. And I summed up equal to 30. I'm not sure that that works. And I think the reason for it is I'm only adding the multiples of five. So if I got rid of this part and I tabbed back a little bit, I get 136. And I'm just going to assume that that's probably right. So those are the basics on how we can uh, search through and manipulate values in a 2D list and use them for something productive.